Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video we are going to create this elegant title animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. In this tutorial we will cover some simple but cool techniques so without wasting any more time let's get started. So here we are in After Effects. Now let's create a new composition. I'll call it as Main Animation. Width is 1920, height is 1080, frame rate is 30. And for the duration, I'll choose one minute. And for the background color, I'll choose solid black color and hit OK. Now go to choose and gear and guide option and hit title safe action. Now choose our text tool and select any font for now i'll choose nexa bold or i'll choose impact you are free to choose any font but i would suggest choose this font and i'll type motion hit ctrl a and for the color i'll choose this white color press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it to the center Press S for scaling option and increase the scale a little bit just like this. Now what I'll do is I'll animate this text. So go inside this text and go to the animate. Click over here and choose position option and make this position over here. Go to this range selector and let's create one keyframe on a start and go to two seconds and let's make it 100 so we are getting this kind of animation now select this keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select both these handles and by holding shift drag this handle over here and by holding shift drag this handle over here so now we will get something like this I'll move this keyframe over here so we are getting this kind of animation now after that go to this add option and select property and choose opacity and let's make it zero so now we can see this kind of animation now go to this add option again go to the property and choose tracking and what I'll do is I'll make it something like this so we are getting this kind of animation yep this looks good to me now what i'll do is i'll hit ctrl d over here for this text i'll choose color red and for this one i'll choose blue color now choose pen tool and from here to here create one mask like this now press M on keyboard select this mask one hit ctrl C choose the second text layer and hit ctrl V now again press M and click on this inverted option so we are getting something like this now press P by selecting both of them hit hit P and create one keyframe over here and at this point I'll choose this first layer and I'll drag it down and choose the second one and let's move it over here select this keyframes hit f9 and choose graph editor now select both of these handles and by holding shift i'll adjust this graph something like this so we will get this kind of animation over here now after that what I'll do is I'll create one text I'll call it as design 
select this text and for the color i'll choose white color press ctrl alt home to align that center and go to the align tab and align it to the center so we are getting something like this now after that what i'll do is choose go to this text and more option and after that what i'll do is i'll apply transform effect on this text let's skew this text to something like this and go to the character and decrease the font size adjust this on this path and for the skew i'll choose minus 14 and i'll increase this distance something like this just like this fit and after that what another thing i'll do is go to this text option select this text as we can see we have the animation portion over here select this animator one hit ctrl c select this text and hit ctrl v so we'll get some same kind of animation over here hit u and just move this over here press u and drag this design text over here so we will get something like this now what i'll do is i'll create one adjustment layer and i'll apply glow effect on it and i'll increase the glow radius to 250 and glow threshold to 90 and i'll decrease the glow intensity a little bit let's make it 0.5 so as we can see we are getting something like this now after that what i'll do is i'll select this all text hit ctrl shift c to pre comp it i'll call name it as text hit ok now hit ctrl d on keyboard select this third text comp and apply fine edge effect on it we'll apply fine edges on it double click on it and i'll hide this uppermost pre comps for now as we can see we are getting something like this but what we'll do is all you need to do is just select this third comp and let's make it invert now again just move this one over here not this much but up to this so we'll get something like this now what i'll do is i'll select this second text layer right click on it reveal layer in source project hit ctrl b on keyboard and drag this over here now after that what i'll do is i'll move it over here now double click on it all you need to do is select this one and all this text layers go to the character and i'll delete this fill and i'll choose this stroke and stroke color i'll choose white color and so we are getting something like this or you can all you need to do is just move it over here after that just move this one over here so we will get something like this if you want to increase the stroke you are free to do it i'll make it 2 
so we are getting this kind of animation if you want then you can play around with this so we will get some variations also and after that one last step we need to do is create one null object right click new and one null object drag it down over here select this three layers and make a parent with this null now press p and alt click on this position property and i'll apply wiggle expression over here and let's make it five by five five comma five sorry so you get this wiggle effect over here so yep this is our final animation So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then please consider to subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon for more updates. Until then, stay tuned.